Hey everyone, Dino Scream here with some Safari LTD news. Yesterday, Safari revealed their nine new figures in their prehistoric world lineup through Dan's Dinosaurs. These figures are part of their 2020 lineup, and they should probably be available probably by the end of December or the beginning of January. One of the things I noticed right off the bat when these figures were first revealed is that there is no Ceratopsian, sauropod, or prehistoric mammals. I'm a little disappointed by that. I know a lot of people were disappointed that there's no new prehistoric mammals. I don't know if this is the complete lineup or if Safari has a couple more surprises for us. It's just me speculating right now. Hopefully, I do hope there are a few more figures announced on top of these initial reveals. Some of you might remember that I did a Safari LTD 2020 prediction slash wish list video a little while ago, and it looks like that I have guessed three of the new dinosaurs correctly. So let's move on and take a closer look at some of these reveals. All right, the first reveal is Deinonychus, and I actually predicted this one. It was my number one prediction in my wish list video, and I'm so happy that we're finally getting a feathered, accurate-looking Deinonychus figure. Deinonychus is one of my favorite dinosaurs. I always feel like this animal has always been overshadowed by Velociraptor ever since Jurassic Park came out. Some people are a little disappointed that this figure seems to be a tripod. A lot of people praise the feathered Velociraptor that came out from Safari a couple years ago, but that figure also was a tripod. It, you know, it rested on one of its front hands to balance. So this bent down tail in its tripod position really doesn't bother me too much. I do really like the color scheme on it. I like how Safari went for a very natural looking feather look on this Deinonychus. Definitely looking forward to this one. That is going to be my first one I get from Safari when these finally go on sale. And next up is the famous marine reptile, Ichthyosaurus. This is a really nice looking figure, especially if you're into collecting marine reptiles. Ichthyosaurus is definitely probably one of the most famous marine reptiles out there. It has a nice black and white color scheme. Even though black and white is pretty common on marine reptile figures, it does look really nice. And next up is the Concavenator. This figure is an update from the Carnegie Collection Concavenator. This is one of the figures I'm kind of torn on. I just don't know if I really want this figure. I feel like the Carnegie Collection Concavenator was a really great figure. It really didn't need an update right now. But the Carnegie one is a tripod. And this one does stand on two legs. But there's just something about this figure that just doesn't scream that I need to rush out and get it right away when it comes out. And another thing I noticed about this year's lineup is that it seems like most of the dinosaurs have their mouth closed. I know a lot of us are used to getting our carnivorous dinosaurs with their mouths open, with their you know teeth showing, like they're always yelling and screaming. But for some reason, I'm just really not digging the closed mouth on most of these dinosaurs in this lineup. It's just that black line just kind of bugs me a little bit. It just looks like someone just drew on it with a black marker. But who knows, maybe one better picks come out or when I actually get to see some actually in hand images of this concave air I might change my mind it's happened before with safari figures sometimes their promotional images just don't look as good as the actual in hand models but only time will tell and next up we have the Lophosaurus which is another dinosaur that I predicted in my wish list video I am happy that we're getting a new Dilophosaurus but I am still a little torn about this figure I not a huge fan of that kind of bland color scheme it has. I do like the bright orange for the head crest. Um, it's one of those figures I kind of wish the mouth was open. I just really, just kind of looks weird to me that that Dilophosaurus has its mouth closed. We're just, you know, probably just used to the Jurassic Park version with its mouth open, spraying venom out. But that's just how I feel about this figure. Maybe it's just the angle this picture is taken at is probably one of the reasons I'm just really not totally sold on this figure yet. But like I said, when once more images come out, I'll probably change my mind on some of these. And next up, we have Pachycephalosaurus, and this is one I'm really looking forward to. This Pachycephalosaurus looks fantastic. A lot of nice scale detail on this figure. And one of the coolest things I notice about this figure is, if you look at the top of the dome, it actually has a cranial lesion, which is evidence that these animals did, in fact, use their domes in combat against each other. And I just love that little attention to detail. Definitely looking forward to this one. 
And next up we have Stringosaurus, which is a mid-Triassic reptile. When I first saw the picture of this figure, it just reminded me of like one of those 1960 movie monsters. It kind of looks like if, you know, Carnotaurus was discovered like in the 50s or 60s, this is what it would look like in a movie back then. I'm probably not going to pick this figure up. I'm mainly into collecting dinosaurs and the odd pterosaur figures. But if you're into extinct reptiles, this is probably definitely an obscure species that you probably definitely want to add to your collection. And next up we have Sacrosuchus, which is a large extinct crocodilian. This figure has gained some uh, criticism that its color scheme is very, very similar to the previously released Safari LTD Caprosuchus. I can definitely see the similarity between those two color schemes. From the looks of this picture, it looks like this Sacrosuchus is definitely going to be a good size figure, so maybe that size difference will help differentiate it from the Safari Caprosuchus. This is another one I'm going to need to see a few more pictures of before I make my final decision if I want to pick up this figure. But if you're into you know, large crocodilians, this is probably definitely a figure worth picking up. And next up is a dinosaur that I think no one guessed Safari was going to make. It's the Kinzaosaurus. I'm pretty sure I said that right. Kinzaosaurus is a type of long-snouted tyrannosaur from China. And this isn't the first figure of this dinosaur. PNSO actually did one in their mini line, I think, uh, last year. So this is the second representation of this dinosaur. And it is cool that we're getting a very obscure species in the new safari line. Um, there's just something off about this figure. When I just did a quick research just to figure out what type of dinosaur this was, almost every artist's reconstruction of this animal had this dinosaur with feathers on it. I know there's no evidence, you know, directly related to Kinzaosaurus having feathers, but I kind of feel like this figure would probably look better with feathers. But anyways, I will definitely be picking this figure up. I love picking up figures of dinosaurs that are hardly ever made, so this dinosaur definitely fits that bill. And lastly, we have the Edmontosaurus, which is another dinosaur that I predicted in my video. I was kind of rooting for Sorolophus, but I ended up saying that Edmontosaurus would have been the sure bet. This is an updated version of the recently retired Wild Safari Edmontosaurus. And this one I'm really looking forward to. This is probably my second favorite one in the lineup for this year. And this looks like it's going to be a big figure too. It has the updated crest. And one thing that I noticed about it, it seems like the color scheme is kind of similar to the 2017 Parasaurolophus, but that really doesn't bother me too much. I just really hope this is a good, sizable Edmontosaurus figure, which it does look like from the pictures. So that would do it for this update. So let me know in the comments what you think of these reviews. Are you happy with them? Do you wish there was more? Are there figures you don't like? Which ones you do like? I kind of feel like Safari spoiled us in 2017 with that lineup. That lineup was like absolutely amazing, and I feel like the last couple lineups just haven't lived up to the expectations of the 2017 lineup but all in all i am happy with these reveals they few of them aren't my top choice but there's definitely a few i'm very excited for especially for the Deinonychus and edmontosaurus as soon as it was available i'm going to order them and get them reviewed on the channel a couple of them i do have to wait for better pictures or actually see some actual in hand pics of some of these figures i just a couple of them just not sold on but anyways that will do it for this update as always don't forget to hit like and subscribe each subscription helps out the channel tremendously and it's greatly appreciated and i'll see you guys for the next one